Hey, can I talk to you a minute? Sure, coach. <sighs> you know, I know it's hard to shut out all the noise. It's a lot of pressure. The only thing that we can control is what's right in front of us. And what's right in front of us is a game of football. Same rules as always. So you gotta take a step back. All right? You gotta breathe it in. You find a way to appreciate this moment, this, this time with your teammates, take in the crowd. Man, you do that, and, and everything gets real quiet. All right? So breathe. Take it in. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I got you, Coach. Yeah, thanks. Good one. Yeah, yeah. Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net of the Madden 20 series uh, that's called Face of the Franchise QB1 and this is with Kalai Kelly as we're in the national championship here today and we're going to see if we can bring home this uh, national championship to Oklahoma. Now if you get a quick recap from the last game here, we were benched uh, four years ago. This is our first time being on the field here, with the exception of uh, the previous episode where we got playing the semi-national game, semi-final game uh, against uh, Clemson. Now, today we're playing against Florida. As you see, their first and 10 there, ball in the 26 for Florida, and then we get a stop there. We had a tough go first half there in that game, but then we were able to come back and we were able to win that game against Florida it's in a tight ball game. Uh, and then, of course, towards the end of the episode there, uh, Emily, a uh, girl that we met, she has uh, she's a cancer patient. She wanted us to get four touchdowns in this ball game here. So we're going to try to see if we can do that. Of course, there's another subplot in this also. As we see a penalty there, and that I think is going to be on Florida there. I think it's going to be holding. Yes, it is. It's going to be holding. Uh, but uh, this other subplot for this is Streets wants to win this national championship so bad because his brother, uh, he lost a year ago, um, uh, died, and he wants to he wants to fulfill the promise that he made to him by winning a national championship. So. We'll see if we can do that. Of course, we got a lot of uh, a lot on our plate here. Not to mention, not just that, but just just going on this field here and trying to prove to everybody that we're NFL ready. We're you know we're we're a five a five star athlete going into Oklahoma until we were told that we were not going to get the starting spot uh, for the next season, our, our sophomore season, and we had to sit out for the last uh, you know. Uh, you know, continue sitting out for the last th next three years until you know last episode when we got our first chance to be on the field because of an injury there. Of, uh, I believe his, I think his name is Washington, he got injured and he won't be able to play. Now, uh, you're probably asking yourself if you just seen that there or underneath uh, his uh, the player icon there why his name is Bolden. Well, I had to put in a name because they did not. Uh, let me put his last name, his actual last name, Kelly. So I had to put in my last name uh, just for the time, just for the sake of just trying to get, move this along here. So we'll, we'll eventually change his, his name uh, once we get into, uh, well, if we ever do get into the NFL there, we'll uh, change his uh, last name back or change his name to Kelly, which is uh, his uh, actual last name. So we'll see here. Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma's down by three here. Good here for the defense. There, we get some good hits, but we just cannot stop this uh, Gators offense now. As we'll see here, we'll go to uh, the first six, uh, second and six. There, that is going to be caught, and that's going to again be another first down. Now we're in Levi Stadium here. Uh, I don't know if this is actually the where the national championship will be at um, this year, or what the deal is, or whatnot, but. Uh, so far here, I mean, I think I said in the last episode here, the graphics on here are pretty much the same like last year, but just the, you know, the way the jerseys move and the players move, so like, there just seems to be some subtle differences there. And this is something I'm telling you now, you guys. I think this would be, this would be really cool uh, to see uh, in the college setting here, playing this, uh, you know, playing 
you know, having the same gameplay and, and, and aspects with some subtle, you know, of course, some subtle changes, you know, the option, all that kind of stuff in college football. Uh, I, I'm, I'm up for it. It's, I think it'll be awesome. Of course, you know, being able to see the college uh, playoff, um, you know, in action for the first time ever, because uh, that'd be the first ever, it's the first time it's ever happened in a video game. Because, uh, you know, in, in the last football game we had in college football was, of course, 14, and we still had the BCS. Um, but. I think uh, I think this is a precursor. I really do think this is a precursor to something we could see here in the next year or two. Um, I hope it's more sooner than later. Because um, you know, and of course, my last episode. If you guys watched the last episode, I was going on a spill about it. You know, I'm not gonna repeat it or anything, but I think I think they're ready. I think EA Sports is ready. I think so far they haven't really got the official green light to make a foot college football game here because we still got some. Um, things to work out, but I, for the most part here, I think this will make a legitimate, nice college football game. Now I know there's a mo uh, there's a mod out there from last year's Madden game on the computer, and it's only on the computer only, and there's only a couple of teams that you can play as, uh, and it's not the best mod. I mean, they do a good job there, you know, with the uniforms and uh, and helmets and all that kind of stuff. Um, but what I've seen so far of it, it's, it's pretty it's pretty good, pretty snazzy. Uh, that what they did with that. So, um, you know, none of the college stadiums are in it. Uh, you got to play in the NFL stadiums, but that's fine. I mean, uh, what I've seen people play online and on you on, on YouTube and live streams like that, um, it, it's it's legit. It's it's pretty good. Um, wish I had it myself for my for my computer. So, uh, but we'll go ahead and take a look here. Uh, first in ten, they uh, of course kicked a field goal there to now have a two or a one possession lead still. Uh, but they are up by six, and as you see there, we dropped the ball there and cannot do anything with this one. So we'll go down third and ten as Kelly here trying his best to try to get this ball down the field here. And we'll see if he can punch this one in here as he gets this one there to Mason. Mason gets the catch, and he'll be stopped at the three. So nice job there of getting Mason the ball and getting him inside the five. Now, first and goal here, what are they going to call? They're going to call a run or they're going to call a pass? Well, I imagine they'll probably call a pass because uh, Kelly needs four touchdowns here and we're already down by a possession and we really need to try uh, to get on the board here quickly as we'll see a penalty there and that is not what we need right now as it's going to be on the offense there you see Five-yard penalty on the Q QB, and that'll be a five-yard penalty. Put him back at the eight. So now, ball on the eight-yard line here, first and goal here. Maybe a little bit more room for a po potential pass here, but we'll see Kelly here. He's going to scramble, get out of the pocket, throw this one up there. That's going to be caught there, but no, it's going to be taken away. As Gore had his uh, attention intended for Gore there, and he does not get it. So now we'll go to now second and goal here. Drop back, fire, pass there to Mason, and Mason gets the touchdown. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Sooners on the board here now, up by a, a t or up by just a point here, seven to six. So we've got a little bit of a baseball sc uh, score here. As we move on now to uh, see Florida, they'll hand off the ball there. That will be a, just a two-yard gain there as they go to a second and eight. Now third and six here, ball on the 28-yard line, or 29-yard line, I believe, and that is going to be caught, and that is going to be a first down there. First and 10 for Arnold and the uh, Gator Chomps there, or Gator Chumps there, I should say. As we'll see here now, first and 10 here, that ball is not intended for anybody, as that one is uh, thrown away because of pressure. Go now to a second and 10. We'll see here what the Gators will do here. Nice a little shimmy move there, but that one is probably going to be in the favor of them. As they, yeah, that is a face mask there, and that will be a first down. Ah, come on, Brad. You can't be doing that. There, You cannot give them the extra yardage there as Florida gets the first. So now they're on the other side of the 50 here in, our, in Oklahoma Territory on the 42. We'll see a drop back here. That one's going to be passed there. And a great, uh, not a great, not the best tackle there, but we do stop and get to the first sticks there for the first. And as we go second and one, drop back there, a pass play there. QB for Florida has just been on it here, and he makes a nice catch there for a first. 
As we try to stop this Gator offense here, we'll see a first and 10. Florida drops back here, and the QB there gets this one to his receiver for the first. As I believe that's Arnold again with another great catch. So now Florida, first and 10 again. Ball in the 11-yard line. A minute left here in the second quarter. QB got to get rid of it there, but Lake gets down, and he drags him down, and he gets the sack. As we go now to a third and 18 here, or I should say third and, uh, third and 13, I should say. And that one's going to be zipped there, and uh, that one is not going to be able to hold on to it there as it just uh, slips through his fingers there. So they'll be forced to kick a field goal here. They'll take a two-point lead here with this kick, and that is going to get them the lead here for the time being with 43 seconds left. So here we go, Oklahoma trying to get down the field here with not much time. 37 seven seconds left here, throwing this one away there as he gets put some pressure on him. And he's going to have to throw that ball away. As we'll see now, second and 10. Ball on the 34 here for the Oklahoma Sooners. Kelly, and uh, play action here for Kelly. Kelly's going to look for a deep man here. He's going to throw this one up there. And that one gets, oh, geez. Almost got it picked off there, but it gets uh, batted away there instead. And it's going to be a uh, third down. Now, third and 10 here. Last chance now for Oklahoma to try to get the lead here before the half. As uh, we'll see the ball on their own 24-yard line here. Three seconds left on the play clock here. Kelly looking back. Drops back deep in the pocket there. Great catch there for Street. Streets gets the catch, and that's enough to get the first down as he rolls out of bounds. And there's 20 seconds left. So Oklahoma has all three timeouts left. Florida has one. We'll see what uh, Oklahoma can do here now as they convert it for that first down, for that third down here for the first down. And we'll see here Kelly throwing this one up there. That's going to be tipped away. Hits off the helmet of Streets there. And that is not going to be uh, any good. It's going to be incomplete as Isaiah, Isaiah Streets here trying to help his uh, buddy out here. But Kelly here, he's going to roll out here. He's going to look for Streets again. Streets gets the catch there. Breaks a tackle. Does a little spin move there. Goes down. Tight ropes the sideline. And that is going to put him at the 22 with just six seconds left. So here we go now. First and 10. Ball drops back here. He's going deep in the pocket. Throwing that one up there. That's going to be caught, and Kane gets it right as time expires. And that is going to be a touchdown. 14-9 as we go into half. Nice job there from Oklahoma. They lead this one 14-9 into halftime. Can they get the second half? Hey, you need to play better in the second half, all right? What? Just give me the ball, all right? Let me do my thing. I agree. Got it. Hey, you know how much this means to me, right? Of course I do. And make it happen. Okay, man. All right, so now we go into the third quarter here. Now we already are halfway to our uh, goal that we need to make, which is four touchdowns in the game. We got two so far. So, of course, there's a little, uh, some little tension there between Streets and Kelly. Streets there gets the ball. Now, to me, if you're going to ask for the ball here, you better get open. And so far, he's done that here. As we go now to a first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line here. And we'll see what Kelly can do here. They're trying to change the play here at the line. And we'll see if he's uh, throwing pass right there to Mason. Mason gets the catch and gets down to the 19 for the first. So I'm pretty sure Streets is probably, or I should say Kelly's going to probably try to get to Streets here. But he's going to try to call us, uh, a route or something that he can throw this one to him. As we'll see a pass there going off to the side there. But, oh, Streets, come on now. You call for the ball. You need to catch it. And he drops it there. Uh, maybe he was up there too, a little jump ball too much there for him. But still, if you're going to call, you know, you're asking and begging for the ball here. You've got to catch it if it's getting thrown to you. We'll see Kelly here again. going to throw the street. Streets gets the catch there. This time comes down with it and gets stopped at the one yard line for a huge game there. First and 10 for the Gators. So now, first and goal here for the Gators. Trying to get his third touchdown here in the game. 
Kelly drops back here. He's looking, scrambling, looking for his uh, boy there, and he finds Streets, and that is a touchdown. Touchdown, Oklahoma. And they leave this now 21-9. to So now back on defense here. Now, of course, defense not playing the best game here, but they're trying their best to uh, trying to get the uh, score managed, trying to keep this game in somewhat uh, decent form here to help out Kelly. As that, they will they give us another first down there. We'll see what they can do here. A first and ten. That ball is going to be uh, thrown up there. That's going to be picked. Oh, no, it does not get picked off there. I thought Dunbar had that. But that is going to be an incomplete pass. and They'll be forced to punt. All right, actually, no. We're forced down to go to third and 11, I should say. As we'll see a pass there. That ball is comp no. That ball is going to be stripped, and that's going to be picked up again by Florida as they get the first down. Oh, my goodness. How lucky can you possibly be? As we'll go to the 47-yard line now for Florida as a man is in motion. Oklahoma's upset here. Their defense needs to step up here. As we'll see here, first and 10. Ball thrown over to the side there. But no gain, actually a loss there of a yard. So now third and 11 here for Florida as the Gators here trying to get back in this ball game. As we'll see, the QB drops back, fires, slows this one there up the middle, and Johnson is there for the tackle. And that'll be a complete pass. But unfortunately, not enough there for the first. So they'll be forced to punt. We'll see Oklahoma here. Kelly back on the field here. Going deep in the pocket here. Throws this one up there. Dangerous throw. Don't do be doing that there. And thank goodness that was tipped away. Incomplete pass. No one can get to it. And that was a, uh, be a second and 10. So now second and 10. Here we go. Ball in the 28 on their own side of the field here. Kelly got to be careful here. He got to just, oh, no, please don't. Throws that one up there, and thank God no one was there. Streets was trying to get at least for, to Streets, but he couldn't get there on time. And we had also, not to, not to mention, had a defender right near there. He could easily pick it off. Third and 10 now. And we'll see here a scramble here from Kelly. Kelly gets caught there, and that's a sack. Ah, not what we want. So we forced a punt here, as we'll see here. They're going to get punt situation here. And they get the block! And that one rolls out of the back of the end zone. And that is a, uh, a two-pointer for a, uh, a block kick there. And, of course, a touchback uh, there. And that will be, or I should say, a safety. And that will get two points there for Florida. So Florida now 21 to 11 there. As Florida gets the ball back after the after that safety. And we'll see here. They'll throw this one there. And, and Leslie gets the tackle there. And that's a gain of three of, on that play. Second and seven. We'll see here what Florida's going to do. And they, oh, they try to run this one, but they get caught. And we'll see what they can do now here in the fourth quarter. So now third and ten here. Florida is down way too much here. They're going to have to go on all four downs. They want to get back in this game. Third and ten here. They're going to lob this one up there to get, sh get the short pass for a big game. But nope, not the case. And, of course, we know they're going to have to go for it on fourth down. So now just uh, under five and a half minutes left to play. We'll see the ball in the 24-yard line here for the Gators. They throw this one up there. That one is going to get up, and that one is not going to be any good as no one can get to it. And we get great field position now here. So... 522 left here. Kelly dropping back, looks, fires, lobs this one up there to Streets, and Streets holds on to it one foot down, and he gets a, a nice first down. So now, ball on inside the 10 here. We'll see here first and goal for the Sooners. As the Sooners here trying to get on, trying to get another touchdown here. Kelly's going to go ahead and run this one here. He's trying to go, and now uh, he's thinking about throwing, but he gets sacked there. I think he should have just kept running and did a little spin move. He would have had it. But we'll go now to a second and goal here. Ball on the 12-yard line as the uh, Sooners trying to keep his lead here. But if, not to mention here, he's got too much time left on the clock here. So they don't need a score here. They just need to manage the clock. As we'll see Kelly here running this one here. He's going to take off. Looking for a block there, but he goes out of bounds. And it goes to the seven yard line. So number seven now under uh, in the shotgun here, trying to get a, another score here on the board. As we'll see here, ball in the seven yard line. 
Third and goal here. Shane will look. See, he's in the pocket. Throws one up the middle there. And Streets gets another one there. Streets gets another touchdown here. I can't remember if it's his second or third touchdown. I believe, yeah, his second touchdown of the day there. And it's 28 to 11. So now, with less than four minutes left here in the ball game, Oklahoma needs to play some good defense here so they can get the ball back. As so we'll see, Hughes there tries to get the tackle, but Leslie helps him out. And that will be a gain of seven on the play. As Gales does not get anything on that. Or doesn't get too much on that one. As we'll see now, second and three. We'll see QB here trying to take off there, but he gets sacked. Nice job. And that is going to be a nice uh, stop there on the QB trying to take off. Third and seven here for the uh, Gators. As we'll see, Matthews comes down there and brings them down. That's a sack, and that's going to put him now at 4th and 16. So, they'll be forced to punt, as we'll see here. 1st and 10, ball in the 11-yard line here, trying to run this last 2.15 left here that we have here in the ball game. And we'll see, and right there, nice little 3-yard um, nice three -yard, three -yard scamper as we go down to a 2nd uh, and 7. With uh, just about uh, less than two minutes here. We'll see ball on the 14-yard line here. And Griffin gets hit hard. He fumbles it. Not what we want and not what we really need. And especially not in the position that Florida's in right now. They got good field position now at the 12-yard line. So they're on our, on our 12 here. We'll see here. Try to stop him. And uh, the halfback does a little juke move there. Second and two. This one gets tipped away from Leslie. He almost had it. He should have had it. And it's going to be now a third and two. So a crucial play now for the defense here for the Sooners. As the QB is going to drop back here. He's going to look. Fires throws this one in the back of the end zone there. And that is going to be a touchdown. Gators. And that puts them back in the Burrow game there. Burke. There you see just uh, gyrating there in the end zone. And that puts them back in this ball game here now. It's going to be a 10-point ball game. 28-18. Here in the national championship here in Levi Stadium. As we'll see, a uh, onside kick here. Mason with the good hands there gets the ball. And that right there should wrap this up. But we still have a minute 14 left. Anything can happen. Try to get this one back to Griffin here. Try to redeem himself here as he does get the first down. And they're going to have to burn their first timeout. Two timeouts left here for Florida. A minute and a, eight, a minute eight left here. We'll see Griffin here on the outside there. He should have stayed inside, but he, uh, well, I don't know what he's doing, but we'll see now third and five. We'll see what they can do, uh, what the Huskers can do, or uh, Huskers, geez, what the Sooners can do here as they hand this one off to Griffin again. Griffin trying to run this one in there, and he gets stuffed, and he'll be at a fourth and two. So now fourth and two here. They ran out of timeouts here. Florida can't really stop the clock here, but Oklahoma is going to try to run this clock out as much as they possibly can here. So they're going to run this one down, and there's about a 10, uh, well, not really a 10, about a 15-second difference between the uh, play clock and the, uh, and the time here. And we'll see a kick, and this one's going to be up, and it's going to be good. So 12 seconds left here. Not much for Florida to do here as they are down. 31-18, as uh, we'll see the last chance now here for Florida to try to do something here, get some garbage time uh, touchdown there. Can't throw, get that one. That's going to be incomplete as the QB cannot connect with the receiver. Second and 10 now here. This possibly the last play here. Four seconds left here. QB just lobs this one up there. A lot of red shirts there, and that's going to be caught there by Francis, and that is the ball game. The, uh, Oklahoma. Jeez, Rashad. <laughs> Oklahoma is your national champions, 31-18. Get too excited sometimes. And they are going to be national champions, and so is Kalai Kelly. Take a look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the podium at midfield for the presentation of the College Football Playoff National Championship Trophy as we present your College Football National Champions. The Oklahoma Sooners. Jack Ford. Talk about a long shot. And as a man who's known as the quarterback whisperer, and I suggest you trademark that, by the way, um, how are you feeling about your quarterback right now? 
I tell you, this kid's amazing. He worked around the clock to prepare for this game. I've never seen anything like it. And I am so proud of what he's done and under this kind of pressure. Hope all you NFL scouts out there are paying attention. Because this kid's special. Come on, man. You deserve it, son. Congratulations. Coach, this is you, man. This is great. Thank you. A perfect end to a too short season. You're leaving here a champion. I, 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 it's better than I ever thought it would feel. I can't even describe it, really. It's just to be up on the stage, celebrating with these guys. It's perfect. It's just perfect. It is a perfect end, but it seems like you put up a pretty good case that it shouldn't be today. How do you feel about that? I, hey, I, I think I gave myself a shot. If the NFL comes calling, I'll pick up the phone. But this guy over here, this guy, take that trophy, man. Absolutely. Isaiah Streets, we are all aware of the loss of your brother and what it took to be here today. But can you tell us in this moment how you're feeling right now? It's a lot, lots of feelings, Taylor. Uh, I made a promise to my brother that I was going to You know, none of this, none of this would have been possible without this man right here. This dude came into an impossible situation. He's got heart. Love you, man. Hey, I love you, man. See? This was for you, baby! Yeah! This was for you! Yeah! And let's go! A lot of emotions out on the field tonight. This is what football is all about. It's about getting hit and getting back up. And as you can see in a season that was characterized by overcoming, these guys did just that and won a national championship. Back to you guys. Right. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, he's actually right here. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hello? Hey, how's it going? It's Emily's dad. Look, I, I know that you got a lot on your plate, and I, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I, I did want to tell you that Emily's out of her surgery, and she is doing great. She got to see the, the game and everything. You have made a fan for life in her. Thank you so much for the kind words. Uh, please have Emily stay in touch. I will. I will. Thank you. All right, bye. Take care. Feeling, baby?